As many as 2,700 candidates have submitted their nomination papers for the 300 parliamentary seats across Bangladesh ahead of the 12 national elections. Despite opposition to the electoral process by the BNP and like-minded parties, among them, 1,900 are affiliated with 32 registered political parties, while the remaining 747 individuals intend to run as independent candidates. The Election Commission collected the data in collaboration with election officials nationwide after the nomination paper submission deadline expired on Thursday. One fourth of all candidates intending to contest the polls are independent. An average of nine candidates are set to contest each seat at the elections. The Election Commission is set to scrutinize the nomination papers from Friday to Monday. Appeals against the decision made by returning officers can be lodged between December 5 to 9, with the EC resolving them from December 10 to 15. Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir said the train of the parliamentary election is already running and it won't stop until it reaches its destination no matter how many obstacles come. Qadir said though BNP is not participating in the election as a party, 30 former MPs including 15 central leaders of the party are taking part in the election. After a long time, a festive atmosphere is prevailing across the country. It's not about whether one or two parties participating in the election. Now it's more about the people's participation. He made the remarks during a press briefing at the Awami League central office in Dhanmundi. Regarding the GSP benefits of the European Union, Kader said that tension is part of this friendship. <laughs> Dia Kamul Jaman, Munjuralom, Sokot Mahmud, Tumuralom Kondukar, Samsek Bobin Chodri, Sadhanumot, Nibai Kumudi Sodu Shah Asanabi, a camp for Kul Islam Shah, Munrojon Kendi Unata, Shah Muhammad Jafar, Mazor Akhtaranjuman Shah, Tirid John, Sabe, Samshot Sodu Shah, Eni Batoni. BNP Neta Tadu de Awamili Kutu Balagi Tashi Sadino Tati Amrabada the Boker Ekan Monik or no Kosulas Eta Kosul Goto Sidanto Amra Niti Automatic Vikas Kutu Set Korun Auto Pay Vikas Takli Harkilagi Legal experts and political analysts have alleged that the law enforcement agencies and the judiciary are being used to violate human rights to keep ruling party in power. They made the allegation while speaking at a virtual seminar organized by Forum for Bangladesh Studies. <laughs> গ্রেফতার এবং নির্যাতন আতঙ্কে রাখার এই যে প্রক্রিয়া এই প্রক্রিয়াতে শুধুমাত্র পুলিশ বা দলের ক্যাডারকে ব্যবহার করা হচ্ছে না এখানে আদালত ব্যবস্থাকে ব্যবহার করা হচ্ছে ক্রিমিনাল জাস্টিস সিস্টেমকে ব্যবহার করা হচ্ছে এটা খুবই উদ্বেগজনক ব্যাপার আদালতকে যখন নিপীড়ন এবং মানবাধিকার লঙ্ঘনের জন্য ব্যবহার করা হয় তখন একটা দেশে আইনের শাসন আর ভরসা করার মতো কোনো জায়গা থাকে না কাতি জানুয়ারি নাগা দেশের যে কি অবস্থা হবে তা নিয়ে আমি খুবই শঙ্কিত আমাদের নিরাপত্তা আমাদের স্বস্তিতে থাকা আমাদের অর্থনৈতিক জীবন আমাদের রাজনৈতিক জীবন কোনো অন্যায় অবিচার হলে তার প্রতিকার পাওয়ার পন্থা এগুলি বোধহয় সবই মানে বন্ধ হয়ে যাবে the Intercity Cox's Bazaar Express has set off on its maiden journey to Dhaka, marking a significant milestone for railway communications in Bangladesh. The commercial train departed from Cox's Bazaar at 12.30 p.m. on Friday. This spectacular oyster-shaped railway station, the largest in Asia, has been built in Chelongcha with the aim of connecting Dhaka to Cox's Bazaar by train. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurated the 102-kilometer railway from Duhazari to Cox's Bazar on November 11th, with the Chhattogram to Duhazari Railway already operational.
On the first day of commercial operations, the Cox's Bazaar to Dhaka train is scheduled to reach the capital via Chotogram at 9 p.m. The return journey from Dhaka is slated for 10.30 p.m. on Friday, reaching Cox's Bazaar at 6.40 a.m. in the next morning. A pair of intercity trains will operate on the Dhaka Cox's Bazaar route, accommodating 780 passengers. Automatic Vikash Kurta set Korun Auto Pay. Vikash Thakli, Harki Lagi.